locomotive has a master switch located in just inside the cab and that's turned on by turning this little red key right here how this thing works I got my master switch on uh, I'm going to turn on the sound system that fires up the sound turn it down just a little bit I select forward we're already in forward and you can see the battery indicators way up there in the white, which is just exactly where you want it to be. We've got a full charge. Uh, now we'll start the locomotive moving by turning this dial here slightly. And you'll notice that as it starts to move, the sound system picks up, senses the speed, and as you increase the speed, you know, the locomotive engine sounds increase accordingly. locomotive up you always want to start uh, change your direction with your speed control and stop position go to reverse and then move out and that's all there is to it now the control board is designed such that it has a setting in there which it is set to by default whereas in forward it moves a lot faster than it does in reverse just for safety purposes so when it's in reverse you're going to be going a lot slower so generally in forward it is uh, you're capable of achieving full speed again in an emergency situation throw that switch down that controls off your uh, control board and also uh, this light indicates that your master switch is on which you do not want to leave on if you're not going to be running the locomotive because it'll run the batteries down over time. That's basically all there is to the operation of this with the extent of the controls on the back here. Basically we have the parking brake which is operated by uh, just pulling on out on that and giving it a twist and locking it to the right. That'll hold it on a grade. Could also be used in case of emergency. And also we have the light switch here which operates your two uh, LED headlights that are located on the front of the locomotive. That's basically it. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.